Hey there, welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you three awesome text effects, and next week I'm going to show you two more. Most of you know that there's a special effect built into the Logo Creator that allows you to import images into text. For example, if you click on the text and you choose the color tab on the left, and then you choose image, you can browse for an image on your desktop and import it into the text. It's a really cool effect and the sky's the limit for what you can create. You can make metal, liquids, you can do fireworks, all kinds of cool effects. So for our first special effect, I'm gonna show you a unique trick you can use with the import image into text feature. So let's start with a blank canvas and we're gonna type some text and we'll make it big. Okay, for the trick, I need a texture. So I'm going to go into the built-in backgrounds and textures that we have built into the logo creator, and I'm gonna find uh, a cool texture like this one. Drag it onto the canvas so that it fits, and then I'm gonna go under the file menu and I'm going to export that as a PNG image. Okay, I don't need it anymore on the canvas, so I'll delete it, and now I'm going to import it into the text. But first, I need to duplicate this text to show you what this trick's gonna do. So I'm gonna go under the edit menu and select duplicate selected element. All right, so now I have two pieces of text. Now this is my back text and this is my forward text. Okay, so I'm going to import the image into this. So I'm going to go back, find the color button, find image, and now browse for my blue that I exported earlier. And you'll notice that when I drag the slider, if I get to the end of that image, the text goes away. Okay, so that's part of the effect. For this trick, I'm going to create an outline over the text. Then we're gonna drag the inner image down and watch what happens to the outline. It kinda goes away. So it kind of looks like a little holder for your text. And there's our cool tech support logo. You can bring all kinds of images in and create all kinds of cool effects. Which brings us to the second text effect I wanna show you, slanted signature text. What the heck does that mean? Watch. Okay, so I want the word support to be slanted in front of the word tech. So here's quickly how I'm gonna do that. First, I'm gonna drag support up here because I'm gonna have to take a screenshot of it. These guys need to be out of the way for a second. I'm going to come up here. I'm gonna find a cursive font. All right, it's looking good. And I'm gonna slant it a little bit afterwards. So watch what I do. I'm gonna take a quick screenshot. When I say screenshot, I mean an export and an import. Export PNG to my desktop. Delete this support. Bring my tech back up here so I can see what I'm doing. Go back under file and re-import my support. <laughs> there is now an image of my support and now I simply rotate it to where I want it to go. Boom, and I'm gonna skew it now. Skew the X a little bit so it's kind of slanted. And drop it right over that. Boom, tech support 101. Now this will work great if you have a picture of yourself. For example, Let's delete all of this stuff for now. And we're gonna import our favorite picture of ourselves. Okay, there's a picture of us. Now we need to make a quick signature. So I'm gonna to move Tony Stark out of the way. I'm gonna move Iron Man out of the way. And let's type in our text. And we need to find a cursive font for our signature. We got lots of cursive fonts in here. We can use this one. Or let's try, this one's good. We're gonna bring the make the text big. And we're gonna bring the letters together a little bit. And let's say I need to make this a little bit different than the black background picture color. So I want a black outline. Now temporarily, I'm gonna move him out of the way and I'm gonna, ex I'm going to export Tony Stark's name. Export as a transparent PNG. Bring the canvas back to where it was delete this text, move the picture out of the way, let's shrink it so that it fits a little bit, import our text that we've just exported, and now, since it's 
an image, we can rotate it like a signature and skew it just a tad like like a signature would be. Let's go back. Let's go down a little bit more. Shrink him a tad more. There is our signed autograph that's going to be worth a billion dollars one day. And now if we export this whole thing at once, export one more time, and now we have an image that we can use for email signatures or anything you want. You just have to shrink it either shrink it in the logo creator or Photoshop or whatever. I mean, I use the logo creator, but this image now, that's an, you can use that in your forums, on Facebook. That is a very cool signature image with your picture, not Iron Man. <laughs> and there is text effect number two. All right, the third text effect is pretty easy, but there's so many cool things you can do with this. A lot of people ask me how to make like neon letters. So let's type our text and the text needs to be neon green, of course. There's the green. And now let's work on the neon effect. We're going to duplicate the text under the edit menu, duplicate selected element. Okay, let's move this out of the way. A neon image would probably be a little bit glowy, blurry. So we're gonna go back to the main menu and we're gonna make sure the text is selected. We're gonna go to blur, turn it on, make it really blurry. And even to make it blurrier, I'm going to go under shadow and I'm going to have a little bit lighter text color effect. Turn on the shadow and make the shadow close to the middle of it, shadow distance. There we go. And then we're going to bring this back. It's getting there, almost neon. We need to put a slight outline around it. Make sure the text is selected. Outline. Give this a dark green outline. And then I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. I'm gonna set the opacity of the text a little bit less. And I'm gonna drag it up just a tad. There you go. See, notice that when I dragged the text up a tad, the image behind looks a little 3D-ish. And now we can put it over our website, move this to the back, there's our neon text, pretty cool. Well that's it for this week, come back next week and I'll have three more awesome text effects to show you. So go out there and make all kinds of cool stuff with the logo creator.